guys, my name is LucasRx, today I want to talk about thumbnails. Thumbnails. So as you guys can see, in my channel, I've been making these awesome thumbnails for a couple of months now. But yeah, I spent the last couple of days making a little template so you guys can save a little time in making your thumbnails. Anyway, this is a great template and I'll see you guys in a sec. Alright, pass you on to the other one. So now that we've downloaded the file from the description, we're going to go ahead and we're going to unzip this file here. And what you should get then is this .psg file. So what you just want to do now is just open it up like you would with any file. And yeah. And I'm just going to drag that in from my other monitor. So now that we've opened it, you guys can see that you have heaps and heaps of customization with this template. So to start off, I just want to talk about the software logos that you guys can use. So I've got Lightroom. I have Photoshop. I have Premiere Pro. I've got After Effects. And I've also got Final Cut Pro. Um, obviously you can add your own one in, so you can just like copy it, copy the kind of style that I use from these ones, so you can just put them in. And obviously to select it, you just have to go press on this little eye thing, so obviously then to be able to change the thing, you just have to... So yeah, so you've got all these different software logos if you guys are making tutorials or making some kind of like download packs for a certain software. So next up we're going to talk about the LUT. So you guys can put your own LUTs in here, but I've got this LUT on my stuff right here. So as you can see, if I take that lot off, it'll look very different. Um, obviously, this is kind of like a teal and orange kind of lot. You guys can put whatever lot on it by just adding it here through this um, color lookup and then selecting your file. Um, but yeah, that's also fully customizable. You can choose whatever you want. So next up, let's talk about the light leaks. So I have five light leaks that I've got here that I've just had from one of my videos. Obviously, just to select it, you just have to press on this little eye like with all the other ones. And there's heaps of ones in here that you guys can choose. They just really add something to your thumbnails and just make them stand out a bit more. So yeah, obviously you've got all them to choose. Next one, we're going to talk about the text. So the text is obviously also a very important part of your thumbnail. Um, so we've got these three things. These all You can move them around. You can do whatever you want with them. You can resize them. Sometimes I would definitely have a larger text. But yeah, it really does depend on what kind of a video you're making, what the, what the subject is of that video. Yeah, you can fully customize them by just going with by pressing T on your keyboard and then selecting the one that you want to type in and you can just type whatever you want, like, hey, there you go. So obviously, with this font, this is Gotham Bold. You can download all the fonts from my cinematic fonts video, which I made a couple of weeks ago. Um, and then you'll have the font. I definitely do recommend downloading this font because it's really nice. And yeah, I just like it. Okay, so now let's go into background photos. So this is definitely one of the bits that's probably the easiest to customize. You just have to find a nice photo online. I recommend, um, there's a website that I definitely recommend you guys check out if you guys are looking for free stock photos, and that is unsplash.com. It is all free, all royalty free, um, completely free. You just have to join up. I don't even think you have to join up, but they have great shots of like landscapes, like really nice shots. Like I just, I love this website. This is how I get all the like photos for my thumbnails. Like this one, that's super nice. So you just download it, and yeah, I definitely recommend this, guys. And obviously, you can say thanks to these guys who definitely who took these photos. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to have really nice thumbnails, I definitely recommend that you guys check out this website, as it will just add something to your thumbnails. Obviously, I've already got like 10 of them in here, so you just have to select which one you want. So say I want this one, or this one. I've got heaps of them in here that you guys can choose from. Um... But yeah, it's all personal preference in the end, and it's all, you can just add as many as you want in here, and yeah. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial on how to use this pack here. Um, as I said, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, um, and I will, if you guys do want, I can definitely make some more packs like this, little, like, channel banners and, like, intros and stuff like that. So if you guys are interested, um, just tell me in the comments below, subscribe, like, and I'll just give you back to Lucas. See ya. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, smash that like button and subscribe for more weekly content. If you do want to download the file, go in the description and there should be a link right there. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.